Alright guys, how's everybody doing? This is Salar Khan. I hope everybody's doing okay and we are here with an absolute peach of an example for standard deviation. This is one of the places where you would not expect it to show but we're going to uh, go ahead and see what it is. Right, so I am here on TradingView. You could make a free account on TradingView and that's uh, perfectly fine. You could set up and once you're here, this is the screen that you should uh, look at. And then I'm going to head over to products and super charts. And super charts is going to open up uh, these charts, right? The price action is, uh, all of the action is here. Um, I have Bitcoin set up with me. And if you are looking for any other asset or commodity, you could go and search this symbol. So you could see I've set up BTC USD, which is Bitcoin BTC. Uh, and it is uh, its equivalent price in US dollars, like right? USD is pretty much visible you could select it and then uh, this would show up on your screen now i'm going to remove this and add this uh, again one more time so you've got you've got bitcoin's chart with you and i'm on the daily chart the d the one day chart so each candle is representing one day a red candle means the price fell from the start of the day to the end of the day and a green candle shows that the price rose from the start of the day to the end of the day right so you've got this price action on, on any assets uh, chart, price is rising and falling every day. So I am on the daily time frame. You could have different time frames. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but what I want to do and next is uh, go ahead and just to make my life simple, I'm going to go to these charts, uh, candles, and use a line plot. Okay. So now I have just one value. I don't I don't care about the opening or the closing value or the average value or all of these different uh, values are the maximum or the minimum values that the candles would show me I, f I just forget all of that and I just take one value uh, which is now the representative of the price action I can see the price rising and falling for each day and notice now I still have my uh, time units as it is so if this was Friday 5th then the next time point now the next data point is Saturday 6th January right so we still have our data points as they are as per one single day which is what our time step was but now we have one line showing us up the price action for Bitcoin now what I want to do next is I want to head over to indicators and type Bollinger Bands right it's um, hmm it's probably not the way it's spelled it's B-O-L-L-I-N-G-E-R right so it's Bollinger Bands and I'm just going to go ahead and use this one so very simple right away Bollinger Bands uh, should be under technicals it's this third one just it's a very simple Bollinger Bands I'm just going to click it and close this and right away it appears okay so I see these Bollinger Bands now three things have happened here uh, let me tell you what Bollinger Bands is this is a this is a tool developed by John Bollinger right and there's tons of material on YouTube about who John Bollinger is how he discovered this and um, how he uh, advocates this as a nice tool to assess markets and make uh, important decisions and strategies based on this. But, but what we are borrowing from John Bellinger today is his um, description of this tool, right? Uh, apart from the yellow line, and and let me just uh, apart from let me just uh, style this in a, in a in a better way. Uh, I do not want to look for the blue lines. Let me just call them these as white lines. Okay, uh, let me make them as white. Okay, perfect. Now, so apart from the yellow uh, line for the Bitcoin price action, what we're seeing is an envelope and then this orange line too, right? So this envelope has an upper white line and then there's a lower white line, okay? And the price action is pretty much contained within this envelope of the upper and lower uh, white line. What we have here in the right in the center of this 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 envelope is a is an orange line and what is this orange line so the Bollinger bands and these are called bands because of this upper and lower band right there the white lines in the middle of this band what we see is a moving average so it is an average but this average is continuously moving why do we call it a moving average it's because the time interval is fixed it's always and here as we can see it's always for and we can change this to it's always for 20 time steps. So the, 
the, the value of this orange line at this point is based on the previous 20 days okay and so on as we move one day forward the next value will be of the previous 20 days again right so as we move along this line we get the fresh 20 days of the of our past to compute this average which is why the average is continuously moving we're not taking an average of the entire uh, existence of of all the days of bitcoin we're only taking average of the past 20 days to compute one data point for that average so that's how the average line comes into uh, existence but what's important here is that while we have an average line what we have as the upper and the lower band is essentially a standard deviation right and if we go to these settings we could look at these Bollinger band settings and we can see we can see that the standard deviation is 2 so you've got plus 2 standard deviation for the upper band and negative 2 standard deviation for the lower band. If I reduce this, I should expect the envelope to contract, and it does, right? Because one standard deviation is closer to the mean or the average moving line value than the 2 standard deviation. Again, if I increase the standard deviation to let's just say 4, I get a bigger band, right? Because 4 standard deviation is supposed to be farther from the mean value, right? So so, so one of the one of the tools or the ways uh, standard deviation could be used in assessing financial um, different uh, strategies could be to perhaps have, and this is just one of the many tools that we uh, that we use. But standard deviation is pretty much in play for the two standard deviation. We could see the price action is pretty much contained within this envelope. Now remember, two standard deviation contains 95% of the data set okay so that interval is super important and we with that fact known we could expect the price to be within two standard deviations for most of the time and as, as we can see it is pretty much within the envelope and then we could always design strategies based on this information that yes if we are at the lower band of the envelope perhaps that's a good time to buy if we are at a higher upper band of the envelope perhaps that's a good time to sell right so this is something we could we could do this is a strategy that we could perhaps look for and use Bollinger Bands as one of the tools to make financial uh, decisions but standard deviation comes into play in Bollinger Bands and it is a means of understanding the price action of any asset